Hi, this is Alex and my partner Jenny. We are here today to teach you how to program your EV3 robot to move cargo from point A to point B with two touch sensors. We found this challenge on Carnegie Mellon's EV3 programming website and then we added to it by adding a rear touch sensor. This is from Chapter 3's Arm Position Challenge. To find it, scroll down to Forward Until Touch and click on Challenge. Scroll to the bottom and choose the PDF to see the challenge. To program this challenge, open LEGO Mindstorm's EV3 software and open a new program by clicking File, New Project, Program, then Open. Then click here to get rid of the content editor box and give you more room. Now we are ready to program. First go to the green tab, the action tab, and add a media motor block and change the on for rotations to on. Make sure that it is on port A. Then change the speed to 30%. This makes the lift gate go up slowly. Make sure that the speed is not too low because it will not activate the touch sensor. Next, click on flow control tab, the orange tab, and drag out the weight block. Change time to touch sensor. Compare, state. Make sure the state is pressed or one. Change the port to two. This makes the robot wait until the touch sensor is pressed. After that, go back to the action tab and select the medium motor block. Change on for rotations to off. Make sure this is on port A. This will make the lift gate stop. These three blocks will make the lift gate go up until the touch sensor is pressed, then stop. Now that you have made the program for the lift gate, Drag a move steering block and turn the on for rotations to on. Select ports B plus C or whatever two motors drive your robot. This block makes the robot go forward once the touch sensor is pressed. Now go to the flow control tab and select another weight block. Instead of time or touch sensor, set the mode to ultrasonic, compare, distance centimeter. Change the compare type to 5 and the threshold value to 4. Make sure that the port is 4. This makes the robot wait until it sees something, the cuboid in this case, that is less than or equal to the, a distance of 4 centimeters. We put 4 centimeters because that is about how far away the cube needs to be in order for the lift gate to capture it accurately. Then go to the action tab and select a move steering block. Turn the mode to off. This makes the motor stop. These three blocks will make your robot go forward until it sees something that is 4 centimeters away or less, then stop. After you have done that, drag a medium motor block to your program. Change the mode to on for degrees, the speed to 5%, and the degrees to negative 140. Again, make sure that the port is A. We put 5% because otherwise the lift gate will jam when the lift gate is capturing the block. A slower speed is more accurate for capturing the cuboid. Now, drag a move steering block to your program. Set the mode to on and the speed to negative 50%. This will make your robot go backwards with the captured cuboid. Some people use connectors to keep the program on one screen. Now, go to the flow control tab and select another weight block. Change the mode to touch sensor, compare, state. This will make your robot wait until its rear touch sensor is pressed. Next, go back to the action tab and drag out the move steering block. Leave the block alone as we want to keep it on its default. This will make the robot go forward a little when the touch sensor is pressed. These three blocks make the robot go back until the back touch sensor is pressed and then goes forward for one rotation.
Next, bring out the medium motor block and turn it on with a speed of 20%. This will make the lift gate go up slowly. After that, go back to the flow control tab and select a weight block. Configure the mode to touch sensor, compare, state. Change the port to 2. This will make the robot wait until the gate is all the way up. Next, go to the action tab and bring out the media motor. Turn the mode to off. These three blocks will make the robot's lift gate go up all the way and then stop. Last, but definitely not least, go to the blue advanced tab, the dark blue tab, and select the stop program block. This is very self-explanatory. It stops the program. Thank you for watching. Now, watch Mr. Pickles, our robot, in action.